Hi Sam, Paulo here with a short video kind of discussing what we what we want to do with this with this activity of uh, the paper programming. So pretty much the idea the idea that, that I that I had initially was uh, so this is activity number one for, from that uh, from that page. The idea is uh, first we will we'll get the students to draw a, a pattern below for step number one. So any pattern. Yeah, and then we ask them to start with uh, with uh, at the start sign. Uh, by starting on the start sign, okay, hold on. So the the pattern must start here. So I would say, well, I want to draw. Okay, uh, the pattern will be this. Yeah, and then there will be uh, this, and then will be this. And then will be this. That's the pattern I want to do. Yeah. So they imagine that the student drew drew a pattern like that, and we ask students to be creative. Some students, yep, some students will be drawing triangles, rectangles, and etc. So after they draw this pattern, this is up to them. It's creativity there for them. They come to step number two and they use the symbols to rewrite the instructions to anyone who wants to recreate that pattern we could show um, yeah we should change this word here from drawing to pattern yeah so in this case what the students will have to do is get the symbols here the symbols that we use which is to write the left up down and scribble to write instructions so knowing that we have to start at the start so step number one is uh, what is the step number one step number one here we jump to the right because so we jump to the right Step number two is we scribble. Then we jump to the right again. Then we scribble. And then here students might say, well, I can go either down here, jump to the right, then down, down, jump to the left. Or some, some students might go that path. Others will say, no, I jump down. I move one down. So step number five will be I move down. So they will be here, and they move down again. They will be there. Scribble. They they jump to the left and scribble. So that's the pattern. So this is the visual pattern that they created, and this here is the programming, the programming pattern. So for this to work, we pretty much have to show them how it's done. You know, how to show them how it's done. So I would start the session by pretty much giving them a sheet of, of um, giving them a pattern. So if you go and uh, how do I go down here? Hold on. I to go down. Yeah, down. So if, if you, I would start with something like this. Yeah. And yeah. And then you say, well, let's, everyone, let's draw a pattern, any pattern you want. And, and then you go and you draw your own pattern. And then some kids will be, will be doing a different one, etc., etc. Et so that's step number one. So draw a pattern. Draw a pattern. Then for step number two, I would be inquiring. I would be inquiring, how do you, how do you, how do, or actually how can you teach teach anyone to recreate to recreate your pattern and that's where things start to get interesting because uh, that you, you you can ask this question and some students will say i can teach them i can explain to them how to do it. I can write a video explaining how to do it. So it's here is the moment we'll say, well, what if we create instructions without using without using words? So you can use words, but the goal here is we're not using words, not using words. We're going to be using we're going to be using instructions. Instructions. That's what we're going to be using. And by using instructions, the students will be able to to understand that 
you can replicate this. Any person that has access to the instructions and know how to read instructions will be able to replicate. So in this case here, your pattern, if we ha if we had to replicate your pattern, let's see, let's see if I can go this, yeah. So if I'm to replicate your pattern, I should go down like this. So how many, uh, plenty of steps in your, So you establish rules, so for instructions you have to have rules, and the rules dictate that we always start here in this corner. Yeah. Um, so the, uh, the, that's what I'm saying. This is this is a. I believe this will be a good two sessions, even three sessions for some cohorts of students. Yeah. Uh, so okay, I want to have a look at your pattern at the top. So your pattern at the top. There. Uh, so if you want to give an instructions i'm going to go blue this time so you would start start with the scribble then you move to the right then you move to the right again and then you have another scribble then uh, because we're only using up and down you have to come to this cell here which is you move down you move down then you move to the left then you paint again and now uh, you have a, a choice. So you're here. Huh? So you have to move, move to that one over there. So you move to the left. Then you move down. And you see you need plenty of instructions for that pattern. Then you scribble again. Then you go right, right, and then another scribble. So I thought that nine fields would do to do your instructions for that one. But actually you need more. Yeah. And then you see, the students will see that, wow, this is a little bit more complex than it looks like. Because this is what our brain does. That's what our brain does inside our own brain. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, actually, sorry. This is what our, our brain does. And this is the de decoding of that message, decoding. So pretty much all the steps, they are required to work that problem out. So this will be for the activity number one. Activity number one is where they, uh, step, so step number one, they draw any pattern, a pattern of their liking, and they decode that. But first, before we start doing this, you would have to go through this uh, by yourself, explain to each of the classes how that can be done. Then they choose a pattern of their own. So we, we use here the um, the approach that we should be using here. It's um, it's an approach that I use with my students and work really well. It's the it's the I do, we do, and you do. That's the approach that we use. Yeah. So the first one is you do. You show the students. You model model what you need to do. Yeah. Then the we do is the step number one. Step number one there. You you can do it together. Yeah. Together. And then when you go to step number number uh, number two and three, that's where they start working by themselves. And here you will have your differentiation. Yeah. So most students will be here in regards to the to the to the task. Some students will be all the way down there some will be here and then you probably will have to give assistance to this one and differentiate the task to those ones so the assistant will be pretty much going back to the we do model here and for those guys in this corner here is pretty much giving them a grid with uh instead of having uh instead of having nine nine squares giving them a grid with 27 squares or something like that and getting them to use colors for example so um, every second step you have to change the color of the scribble for example adding colors to it or adding the diagonal lines to it angle lines diagonal colors um, and other things so they can do um, more advanced most students will be here all students should be able to do step number one some students uh, will be excelling it, and um, and others will, will be struggling with it, and then you do the differentiation task. So please watch this video uh, and let me know if this for 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 this task. Alternatively, I can record a short video to uh, to the students, kind of explaining what they have to do. That's an option as well. Okay, 
Uh, cheers. Thank you. Bye.